Hello, everybody! Today we're going to see how I draw crosshair in Imperial uniform from the Bad Batch. Just so you know, there's a coloring book that you can get through Amazon. Just follow the link in my description and you can get a coloring book to show me how you color to how I draw. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpies. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. So yes, this is for myself. Sometimes I get people saying I can't see it. I, I know. I know you can't see it. It's not for you. This is for me. This is me just trying to get the pose, trying to get the picture, the 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 position, the placement, and the proportions. That's what I'm trying to get. Just try to capture that so I can do the Sharpie drawing and that's where you can see everything. Eventually, I'll try to do something where you can see the sketch, but for right now, I, I'm trying to limit these to roughly 30 minutes. And if I... Well, no, just that's it. I, 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 I'm trying to go as fast as I can and uh, give you something to see in the end. Like right now, I gotta get there. And I want my Sharpie to stand out, not my pencil. So that's why for now, it's just for me to use real quick. And then, then eventually, you'll be able to see what we're doing. But anyway, the point is, um, this is, this is uh, you know, the Imperial uniform. I'm trying to find a really good picture of the details. It's pretty much the same thing. The chest piece is different. Um, it looks like, well, obviously the helmet is different, but it looks like that's really all I got to worry about. And then, uh, this needs to come out a little bit more. And then we can add some detail. But uh, for the most part, you know, it's, it's pretty much the same thing, right? It's just that, that old traitor. <laughs> well, I take it back. He's not a traitor. Um, you know, I've talked about this before that I, I appreciate... Oh, I'm caught up with the show right now, so I'm going to talk a little bit about it. If you're not caught up, you know, I'll, I'll try to avoid spoilers. But the point is, uh, they're going to be bad guys, right? I, I appreciate that they're at least trying to make the Bad Batch into a nicer... Uh, set of stormtroopers but ultimately stormtroopers are bad guys you know what I mean so I, I was curious what they were gonna do how they were gonna fix it because uh, I say this a lot too when I see everybody talking about ooh, draw draw this guy or draw boil or draw you know what I mean I get everybody's kind of attached to them and found their favorites because of the Clone Wars and whatnot but ultimately they're bad guys they beat everybody becomes a bad guy Boil, wax, all them, you know? I mean, who's still alive? <laughs> but I mean, uh, um, in the end, all troopers become the bad guys. So it's kind of crazy how, well, not crazy, but it's interesting how we have, have, uh, not, I'm trying to say heroized. What's the word I'm trying to say? But we have become. Uh, hang on, I just realized that the gun is going to go into his face, so I'm trying to avoid that. Um, we have fallen in love with bad guys, but at this point in time, they might not be. So, um, oh, maybe I should put the hand right here. Yeah, let's do that. Let me reposition the hand real quick. Um, because, uh, you know, at the point in time when you watch them in the Clone Wars and whatnot, they're, they're good guys. I get it. Cody's good. Rex and all them. Now, granted, yes, there's a different story with the chip. And, you know, they're trying to rescue some of your favorites so you can still be in love with them and, and, and love their characters and whatnot. But, for the most part, you know, bad guys. So like I said, it's just really interesting how they've created a storyline 
where we are invested in in the the uh, what do you call it the the fate of bad guys. So where I was going with this, long story short, too late. Um, it's it's interesting how I wanted to call it a. Someone else made a joke about you know draw that traitor crosshair, but I mean in the end they're all traitors, right? I mean they're all become bad guys. They're all evil. You know what I mean? The empire is terrible, and that's just 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 how it is. That's that's part of the storyline. All troopers, because of their chip, are evil. But then afterwards, like so, so Rampart is trying to uh, bring about uh, the new um, build of of uh, what do you call it? Um, recruits, right? So it's no longer about clones; it's about recruits. And so, at what point, I wonder, is it no longer about the chip and and I guess, I guess in theory, you can say that that clones are not bad. They're just forced by the chip to be bad, right? So, so there's your there's your rescue. Don't worry. I know you, you got your favorites, and you don't want me saying that they're they're evil. Ultimately, we can say that well, it's because of the chip, right? So, at what point? I guess it's after this. It's 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 during the the before the Battle of Yavin, right? That's when the new Star Wars timeline is. It's it's you know before Yavin, after Yavin, that kind of thing. Um, I guess it's after that is when they're just inherently evil because that's when it becomes recruits people who have chosen to destroy and be bad, you know? At that point, you are a trooper that have, well, I guess maybe not even chosen because, chosen, chosen because we're even shown that uh, like Finn, you know, they, he was uh, made to do this and he chose not to, so there is free will, ultimately. But, uh, you know, if you sign up or if you get recruited for the, the Empire and you continue, well, you're a bad guy. So the joke of his traitor uniform is, well, that's just the bad guy uniform. That's what we should call it, the bad guy uniform, right? Because technically the bad batch, they're just not bad guys. They're just, you know, uh, classified as, as that because of their, their clone status, right? The bad batch of clones that didn't quite get it, but they're better. They're bad, but better, right? Um, there's a difference between a bad batch and a bad guy. Right, almost there, almost there. Just let me uh, figure out this hand real fast. Let's see, I want it looking in the mirror real fast. I want it like this out. Right? That hand's there. And the trick is, what I'm trying to figure out is how do I make it look like it's wrapped around? I don't work. Something like that. There we go. That's more of an action pose. I'm trying to get a little different action pose uh, as opposed to last time when I did like a, just a standing pose. I gotta draw that weird little thing sticking off his arm. Last time was more stoic. I'm trying to give you more of an action pose on this one. All right, I think that'll work. 
let me erase some of these sketch lines real fast and we'll get going. This one might be a little long. We might go over 30 minutes, but that's okay. Because a lot of you aren't even here. A lot of you are just going to join in later and that's fine. But what I want to do now is I want to erase some of these sketch lines because I want my Sharpie to stand out, not my pencils. And so the first few lines I put down there is just sketch lines. And as I get more confident, I press harder. So when I lightly erase like this, the sketch lines will disappear pretty easily. Sketch lines take, I mean, so the confidence lines take a little bit more pressure, but I'm not applying enough to erase. So what's left are the confidence we're getting rid of the sketchiness. That's how you live your life too. Get rid of the sketchiness, keep your confidence, you will do amazing things, and I will be right there by your side. Saluting your rewards. Uh, okay, so I say we're ready to go. I say we jump over to the Sharpie portion. Welcome everybody that skipped and get going. Welcome skippers, welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a different drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm going to be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen. Mostly the fine point, but a pen's a little finer than the fine point. You can find things that the fine point can't quite find. Sketch the entire thing out. I've erased the majority of the sketch lines, but left myself enough to see where we're going to go. And if you want to see more Star Wars or Bad Batch or any of that stuff, check out all the stuff in that playlist right there. But just check out the playlist in general. Do a search. Check for what you're looking for because I may have already drawn what you're looking for. If not, give me a shout and I'll see what we can do. I'm going to jump right in with the lines on this one and I'm just going to go straight in with the face. So I want the mask for the eye socket part. Doing something like this. I'm kind of drawing all of it at once. So when I say the eye sockets, I also have to draw the front of the mask like this. And I've sketched it out so that's why I kind of know where I'm going with this. So I can just kind of blindly draw a few lines and still follow my my overall look but that's that's what a good sketch is for that keeps you uh, in the in the ballpark of where you intentionally wanted to go all right so I wish I could turn my paper but I gotta I gotta turn myself as much as I can to make this work which is fine that's the challenge and I'm thickening up some of my lines because when I switch over to this Sharpie, you're gonna see a huge difference in line width. So I'm kind of matching where it's going. Um, and you don't have to do it. I'm just kind of letting you know why mine is looking like this, why I'm kind of doing that. Especially if you're working with pencil, it might look a little strange. So don't feel bad if you're not doing that. I'm gonna jump around a little bit because again, I know where the sketch is going and I need to give myself some certain places to draw before I draw the rest kind of thing. So like uh, his mask, come up here and do this. Cut across, come down. Then I could draw the frowny mouth that all the troopers have. See, it's not straight across. That's okay, I can fix that. But also, we're gonna have mistakes. You know, it's not gonna be perfect. I'm fine with that. You should be fine with it. All right. Let's see. Now, the front. It's like this. There's a line right there, but I think I'm going to do that with color. Because uh, as much as I want to draw every single line, I also want to do some stuff with color and make it subtle, you know? Anybody pre-order the Black Series figure? And it's getting more and more expensive. I didn't do it. I, I wanted to. I really wanted to, but I can't afford a $30 figure anymore. It's, it's getting it's getting to be too expensive. I want to keep getting the Black Series figures, but I'm officially saying I, I have to bow out when it gets to $30. It's starting to push it with 22 and 24. So yeah, unfortunately I'm not getting this one. Sorry, Walmart. All right. Which is unfortunate because I got a lot of Black Series figures and I would love to continue, but it's getting it's getting really hard to continue with the line especially when you can only get you know three here and four there and I don't have everything so like well I'm not gonna I'm, I'm gonna get what I want 
and then just kind of appreciate what I can't get, you know? good looking good let's see and there are those lines like that right and this one comes down here does a little bit of that and again I want to draw it but I think color should handle it because it's not a hard hard edge it's more subtle than anything else that line going across so let's draw this one over here this little edge there we go I've got that so I'm gonna try to go across and follow it and it's okay if I don't make it but I'm gonna try to keep it parallel like that there that'll work that works out great all right, let's do the top of his head. I'm gonna try to get the dome right. And if, it's a, if, if it doesn't come out perfect, it's not that big a deal. See, it didn't come out perfect. I'm gonna thicken it up just a little bit. But uh, you know, if, if nothing else, this is just to show you that not everything's gonna be perfect and you gotta be okay with that. I mean, you can try. Don't get me wrong, I'm trying to make it as, as smooth as I can, but it's not always going to be perfect. All right, cool. Let's draw his, his, his little sensor. Oops, it's my see mine's going out just a little bit like that too much, but that's okay. That'll work, that'll work. Again, it's a little bent, a little going out, but I'm fine with that. Now, here's the trick. You always want to draw what's in front, so when you draw what's behind, you don't draw through anything, right? But you gotta get to that. So his gun is in front of everything. So what I have to do, get to the gun, then I can draw the body. So I've got this shoulder raised just a little bit, so you can see a little bit of the armor, and then all of a sudden the big old arm pad, or not arm pad, <laughs> shoulder pad, that's above like this coming down and again I've got to I've got to figure out where the gun is before I continue it right so there's the rest of his shoulder come down to his elbow his forearm um, with just uh, uh, a little detail we'll come back in a second and come up here like this right and so now I can close out his elbow like that I can make his fist around his his uh, uh, handle, his trigger. He's holding the handle like this, so that's all we can really see is is the bulk and then the, f the trigger finger right there. So I'm just gonna come in here and do this. And again, I'm following my sketch, so I kinda know where I'm going. And then I'm gonna add some detail. So they all have like that fist protecting part and we'll say we can see some knuckles but that's it because again it's all kind of covered up by that part uh, there is like a little you know the little calm communicator um, tech piece that's not very straight but that's okay again I wish I could turn my paper I just got to work with what I got Shaking today. Just to give it a little bit of tech look, right? And then he's got a lot of armor and stuff like that, so. Um. Okay, no, 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 that's good, that's good, that's good. Before I do anything else, I gotta keep going with the gun. So, here's what we're gonna do. So, I'm just gonna make the gun up. Again, I I'm kinda going by what they have, but I'm also kinda not. So, the trigger has got a, uh, a 
trigger guard like that, and then we're gonna drill the gun. So, I'm, again, I'm kind of making it up. Uh, gun parts, you know? And then just kind of following. But stopping right there, because now the other hand, again, draw what's in front, the hand is on top of this rifle, so I have to draw that first. Let's finish this up here, come back to the, uh, the, the stock, right? But it's under his arm, so we can't really see the rest of it anyway, so I'm not worried about that. Now, I can draw the rest of his uh, armor over here, but again, a lot of it's folded over on itself and kind of covering up stuff, so there's only so much we can do anyway. All right, so let's see. Let's draw that hand. So this hand is just, it's just holding up the rifle. So here's his wrist, thumbs going back here to the hand and the fingers. Now, basically we're just gonna draw like this wrapped around because it's kind of hard in this position to draw it exactly like it is right now we're going for the overall picture right overall big picture and so I'm gonna draw his little protector this little piece right there and now his fingers are kind of uh, you know you can only see so much anyway and they're kind of going over like that there so we'll draw some knuckle lines like that but that's all we can really draw anyway because of the way of what you can see with the gun or the way his hand is wrapped around like this. Like, see, there's not much you can really draw. But in the overall big picture, it'll look like he's holding his gun. All right, so now I can connect that right there. Connect that. Uh, bring this back. And I'm just going to eyeball the, the shape of the gun. Or the, the, the um, what do you call it? The, if it's straight or not. Oh, you know what I forgot? Oops. I forgot the scope. Let's go ahead and draw it like right here. I'm just gonna say that it's something like this. I have to put it in front of his face. I, I it, it, that was my fault. That was completely my fault. I should have made it a little bit bigger, um, but I kind of wanted to make it not in front of his face. But I should have planned for it a little bit better. So something like that. See, it's not that big a deal. Um, it does have a certain shape to it. It's got like these grooves in it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna follow the edge. Um, something like this. Right. Same thing over here. I'm trying to follow a straight edge. So I'm kind of making sure that it goes across like that. So that's what I meant by I'm just gonna eyeball the uh, um, what, I, what do I want to say the, the straight the straightness of it the 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 length I'm not using a sharpie I mean a, a, a ruler is what I'm trying to say all right sorry that's loud out there my windows open so you can hear all the planes and things going by now this is where I like to add just a little bit of detail with my Sharpie, the small Sharpie, just to kind of bring it to life, just to try to say, well, it's got details, but you know, we only add so much in it because I like, I like what I call manufacturer lines. Because I say that someone, someone makes this, someone is, is, is manufacturing this gun. So I try to say like, yeah, that's, someone puts this together and it has seams and pieces and parts put together so that's why I add a little bit of, of detail just to kind of make it look like yeah it's manufactured someone goes to the trouble of, of putting this together and sells it to the uh, to the Empire right there we go I like that see minimal but it still gets a point across so Excuse me. Um, 
again, now we're just drawing parts, right? So I'm gonna bring this down here. Here's his armor. And then uh, his chest, let's draw it like this. It's gonna be right here. And I, I want to draw that first, again, to put it in front of um, his arm right here. Okay. And again, it does have his specific armor look. It's just a little different from before. But again, it's mostly covered up, so we're not worried too much about that stuff. I can draw his arm there, a little bit of armor. The arm's coming up like this. Shoulders back like this, so that means the shoulder pad's coming through here. And then this little stick thing that hangs off, we're just gonna do like that. It's not quite sticking out that much, but because it is unique to his character, I did want to put it in. I accidentally drew through the hand here, so I'm trying to cover that back up. Oh, and a little wrist communicator thing. I mean, I call it a wrist communicator, but I don't know what it is. It's just a, a cool design. All right, but yeah, that's on the shoulder pad, which is pretty much back there. You can't see it, so we're just gonna leave it like it is. And same thing here with his armor. He's got like some detail here, but you can't really see it. So that's all I'm gonna worry about. Like that. All right. Okay, and so now we're just drawing the rest of his body. Now, real quick, let me just point something out real fast. You can keep drawing, but I'm just gonna show you. See how thin that is? See how thick that is? And see why I was thickening that up? I'd like to keep it consistent. That bugs me that it's just not as thick as the rest. You don't have to do that, but I notice it, and I just wanna make it right. All right. Okay, so back to his uh, his design. So here's his inside armor, right? And his belt. Let's see, we're just gonna do something like this. And it's not really uh, holding anything up. And I really don't know why he's got a belt. It's just a uh, decoration at this point because Oh, I guess he's got a gun, but we can't see it anyway. <laughs> okay, so I guess he does have a reason for his pants, for his belt. There's his crotch piece. Like that. Let's add just a little bit of detail to his armor. It's not much, but there is some subtlety here. It, it, if nothing else, it breaks up the negative space. So I, I like doing little things like that. So if it's got it in there, yes, like that. This belt, let's go ahead and give it like a seam like that. Again, just to kind of break up the negative space. It's just a big, a big blank spot. All right, something like that. And now, armor. Now, his knee pads are in front of his legs, so let me draw his leg armor like this. And it would be a separate piece from that, so it would be a little floating. It would kind of come up like this, right? Then, his little long johns underneath would be what connect it, right? Can't really see it there, but I just want to make sure we separate them so it's not like one continuous piece. Now I'm gonna come down to his knee pads. stop there because again I need to draw the knee pads might as well do both right and then this one we're gonna see from the side so we're only gonna see a minimal amount something like that but it's got to connect so I want to make it like this like it's connected to something now his armor is gonna be like this because it can't connect right it's got to float here we're not gonna see that connection so we're just gonna draw the knee pad something like that. It can be floating on top because we don't need to see the connection. We can kind of do something like that to say, well, that's like the little strap that holds it in the back, right? We can do something. 
but what I really like to do is I love the design of the armor now it's got like this seam down the front right that gives it that that armor look it, it that that defines the entire look of the the point on top like before I drew that it, you couldn't tell there's a point when I do now it looks like it kind of comes up to a point I, I love that I love that about the design uh, the knee pads there's not much it's kind of scuffed and, and worn I mean although this is like new uniform right it shouldn't be that scuffed but uh, <laughs> that's all we're gonna put his legs are just kind of shooting back now again his armor is not connected yeah, and let me show you and you'll see what I'm talking about here's his ankle like that so that's one piece and then we're gonna connect it by like we said the long johns that his legs that are, are there so that means we come up like this and that's the floating piece right his leg is back behind it into the armor like this when someone is doing something out there in the alley if you hear some crazy noises I don't know what's going on back there <laughs> You hear that? Working with some tools, I guess. Okay. So now we're just drawing his boots. Or his, his, uh, his, uh, trooper, trooper shoes. Something like that. Let me add a little detail. Oh, same thing. I love the, uh, the point this armor so again it's subtle but it, it brings out the the look and I love that the armored look I'm making up these lines. I just kind of like to show like the way the shoe might bend, that kind of thing. So there we go. I say we take care of the rest with color. So that is Crosshair, an Imperial uniform from the Bad Batch. So here's how I colored it. Tell me what you think in the comments below or show me what you did in our Discord group. Just have fun and make it your own because remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw and we'll meet somewhere in between. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button for new videos.